won't be long. Better back them up, boy. The very first thing I do when I get home at my house is take my shoes off. Do y'all do that? I didn't want to do that, and I argued with God, and he said, you better mind me, so I'm going to mind him. Um, one of the songs that Lori sang this morning was talking about um, I am yours, and that's what the Lord was saying to me this morning. When we know who we are and whose we are, life changes, doesn't it? I'm Harold Dermott's baby girl, and I was proud of it. And my daddy had more integrity in his little finger than I do in my whole body, and I work hard at having integrity. But how sweet it is to be loved by Jesus this morning. That's my song. Y'all can take y'all's shoes off, too, if you're home. I don't care. <laughs> it's easy to do when you got them fancy flip-flops on. It has a long lead-in on it. I always forget about it, and then I'm like, what's wrong with it? sang that song that it affected me that way before and got good y'all won't cry <laughs> I'm not a crier anymore when Jeff went to be with the Lord I cried for 14 solid months I was sick of crying I decided I wasn't crying anymore so if I'm crying something's happening up here I'm gonna get a little drink I'm dry this next song and Dave never ever tells me what to sing. He always just says, let the Lord lead you. And by the way, Lori, if you watch Lori praise and you don't get happy, something's wrong with y'all. You make me happy. I love to watch you praise the Lord. Thank you for what you do here. Anyway, um, this song is called Faith, and I think it goes right along with what we've been talking about this morning. If we don't have faith, um, we don't have anything. 
and it's really not that hard. I know that y'all believe God can do anything. I mean, we're in church, and I know most of y'all, but do you believe he'll do it for you? That's when you activate your faith. It's just like when I stepped outside this morning, I hit that clicker on old Betty, and, and she started. I expected her to. When we talk to Jesus and, and God and ask him for things, we need to expect that he hears us, expect that Dad loves us, expect that he's going to take care of you. We've had a little dry spell at our house. And uh, I looked at Lou one day, and I said, I ain't having it. That's not who my God is. He's taking care of us. We've not had no lack in our life for seven years. So why now? Because the devil's mad at me because we're getting some stuff done. That's why. But you know what? God's bigger than that. He's bigger than that. And I believe he'll do it for me. So he opened up the gates, my blessing gates. And he, because I started saying, Lord, what have I done wrong? I've done something wrong. Well, then I saw a scripture somewhere and it said, don't do that. Start praising God through it. Because if we're lined up with the word of God and we're doing what he asks us to do, we can expect him to take care of us. We are living, walking proof. Not just me, but my family. I want to be blessed to be a blessing. I want to be able to come and help when I, when, I, when I want to. When I feel like, even when God doesn't tell me to, I'm still giving. You know what I'm saying? Because, hey, you can't outgive him. You can't outgive him. So faith. And it's really not a formula. It's, it's a trust. It's a knowing him.
we can't move the mountain. It's about trusting him to move. Go on and do what he's asking you to do this morning.